They never gave up. They never gave up in their relentless pursuit for justice. A decades old murder mystery, an international manhunt, and now an arrest. Police in Somerset County announced the arrest of a Canadian man accused of strangling 23 year old Tammy Tigner nearly three decades ago. This is an exciting time, right? There's DNA um, advancements and it allows us to do things that we never able uh, were to were never able to do before. It was around five o'clock on the evening of November 4th, 1997, when Tigner's body was discovered not far from this spot in a remote wooded area in Bridgewater along the East Branch Middle Brook. Tigner was described as a sweet young woman. She was last seen alive in Newark, where police say she got into an orange van. They later tied to Robert Creter, who spent the next two and a half decades on the run. Last year, police learned about new amplification processes for DNA evidence, tests that couldn't be done back then. From then, it took a collaboration of local, state, federal, and international police to hunt Creter down, charging him with murder. Here we are 27 years later, from DNA to those initial reports to the assistance from Royal Canadian Mounted Police in Winnipeg. Police say Creter was born in Canada but had roots in the Bridgewater area. He was adopted by uh, his parents. They moved to New Jersey when he was young. He grew up in this area. Police wouldn't divulge details about how the two knew each other, if at all. Police say Creter was extradited to Somerset County last week. Assistant County Prosecutor Michael McLaughlin called Tigner's mother to share the news. It was incredibly emotional and she was very thankful to our detectives today and the detectives at the time. Once a fugitive, Creter is set for his first appearance in court Wednesday morning. For Pix11 News, I'm Jim Vassell.